Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to Freezy's Press Room for week 6 of the second saga of the year. And today I'm just going to be going over the newsletter, uh, talking about some of the new current events around the game. And so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so this is week 6. This is our extra week that we have in this saga and this is going to be our leaderboard event coming up starting uh this friday and um the space ape has decided they've expanded the prize pool out a little bit so it's going to be top 200 last time it was top 130 getting prizes and um yeah i think it's gonna be a pretty good event this one's called the cure and let's take a look at some of the prizes so uh it says take part in this weekend's event to went up to so the top five is gonna get guaranteed five star minerva or flatline uh, medic bot and then for the other prizes uh, it's gonna be 75 tiers so uh, it's kind of missing some verbiage there so I believe that'll be 1500 minerva or flatline uh, shards uh, 2500 four star shards 5000 three star shards and 50,000 premium crystal shards. I know I can use those. I need the power cores. And in, in addition to uh, a G1 G metal power core chip, three G metal power core chips, and up to seven gold power core chips. So that'd be good, especially now with the, the addition and the new G1 cores added to the game. Uh, if you hadn't seen my video about that, uh, go into my channel. I, I'll leave a link for it as well in the, in the comments or in the description. Uh, so you can take a look at that but those new G1 cores are pr pretty good so maybe you can get lucky and get one of those and then my other favorite part 200,000 in combiner spark which I'm finally starting to load up on again and then 200,000 of regular spark which I also need um, so yeah alliance leaderboard uh, 1 million points for all the main prizes and it's got your typical event battle zone chart. And then totalize the prizes, you can kind of take a look at that. Like I said, 75 tiers total. And it should be make for a pretty good event overall. Uh, prizes aren't too bad. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm used to leaderboards being not that great with prizes overall, but this, this one's decent for a leaderboard, I'll take it. All right, in here in the newsletters, got the leaderboard charts. So the top five scoring wise are going to be the ones that get the five star. Uh, number six through ten will get the get the four star version. Uh, if you hadn't seen my video about Flatline, uh, it's a pretty good bot. It's, it's, it's going to easily be the best healer in the game. Um, yeah, I say if you want to go for it, go for it. It's going to be a pretty good bot for those uh definitely for those top five but I, i'd say even the top 10 because I, I did the test on the four star and it's a uh, pretty impressive even at the four star level and then all the rest of the top 200 will get the three star in addition to they they'll have a handful of character shards that'll be that'll come out uh through the event and then there'll be some total spark crystals that'll come out so and uh, in addition to premium shards so uh power cores for you know some of the top some of the top uh leagues and then uh bot specific chips for everyone that's in the top 200 so not bad let's take a look at some drop rates for some of these event crystals so they're saying with the event crystals um so 25 percent chance of minerva or flatline uh for you know um four star three star or 100 character shards so you get one of those with the event crystal um four star shards you get a could get a hundred of those 25 percent drop rate for that 30 percent drop rate for 153 star shards and 20 percent for 500 premium shards so i actually kind of like how they did that uh even though they kind of pushed three star shards up a little bit higher i do kind of like that they dropped the premium so give you a chance at uh well it, it can go either way because the premium shards always equal power cores but at least they're not trying to just push off 
all premiums on you. So, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm cool with that. All right, some game updates. So, Cyberpass catch up. It was a little bit late, but it's out there. Um, yeah, so if you aren't able to finish, those are still on sale. I believe they're $19.99 US dollars. Um, so, that's now in the, in the game. Uh, I saw it this morning. I'm not participating in that. I got pretty far on my cyber pass, but I, I still don't particularly care for them selling catch up pass. But so I won't support that. But if you need to, uh, it's available. And then, as always with LB, the bundles are going to be, they, of course, they're going to have the total attack bundle. That's the ones that I use. Um, I think this time I'm probably going to use a couple of the $20 ones maybe a 40 uh just depends on how busy i am on friday and then of course you got your golden lagoon cores that you can use to try to I mean, most people use them to try to solo so um those will be available as well starting on the 22nd of april then it talks about the upcoming characters uh already plenty of content out about that but it just tells you that Flatline and Minerva will be into the game this week. It talks about its ability, the healing tower, the cost of 5 plus 5. And so last week we were talking about that they were, um, there wasn't a lot of playtester feedback at the time. Uh, Dale from Space Safe, you know, the community manager, did kind of start the process early of building this particular this particular newsletter and so uh the play testers responded got in there gave some feedback um you know certainly Genj, you know had some they basically kind of kind of said the same thing it's like it's a great addition to to the existing core of bots that we get particularly with the medics um i had my thoughts i actually got an opportunity to drop my youtube link in there this time so if you hadn't seen my video if you're looking at the newsletter uh, you can actually um, you can actually take a look at that video, and I'll, I'll I'll post a link for it down here in the comment section also, or down here in the description also. But uh, pretty much all of us had the same opinion in this bottom end. So it's uh, you know the health that leaves a little bit to be desired, but it's a pretty good uh, that healing and that healing ability is right where I feel like it needs to be at. So uh, hats off to Space Safe for putting together a pretty good bot. That's pretty much what all of us are saying in the playtester community this week. And then Texas Hammer actually added some stats. You know, he's typically our stats guy up there. And so one of the things that he talks about this week is looking at the statistics for previous leaderboards. And so we look at the leaderboard that they had for... Well, you know, he's an Autobot, so he's got Shattered Glass Jetfire up there. You know, we got we got Shattered Glass Thundercracker. And just going through some of the numbers of of what happened from the last leaderboard. So if you're one of those teams that's trying to go for one of those spots, so you were just on the edge last time, uh, this will be good for you to look at because you can see kind of close to what the numbers that you needed were. And Texas' big point right there is that, well, a couple of things happened last leaderboard that kind of made numbers go up. And so the prizes became the top five rewards became a five star. The top 10 reward became a four star. And then we also got additional coins from the, um, uh, excuse me, additional fuel sales, excuse me, from the cyber pass. And then, so you get extra, extra points, you know, on average, uh, per person and per team. And you can actually see the leaderboard previous to that, just to kind of compare a little bit. So, uh, on top of seeing some of the statistics from Minerva, and also looking at some of the Titan perks that might help as you get a new heal into the game, I spoke about that a little bit in my last couple of videos. I thought I talked about it in the, a video about Flatline, and I also spoke about it, I believe, in last week's newsletter. So I won't hold up too much of your time with that but if you haven't seen the newsletter i'll leave a link for that in the description as well uh just so you can take a look at it 
And then we got some of our content creators. Obviously, a lot of them were talking about the new bots coming to the leaderboard this week. And um, and then you also have one from Sunstreak Awaza uh, that says that he's talking about a no skill spam team. Um, that was actually a clip from his live stream last week. And, uh, you know, if you want to check that out, go ahead and take a look. The link is in the newsletter. But we also got stuff talking about this week from uh, in regards to our new healers. So you got Grind Time. Um, I, I actually watched his today. Uh, just kind of just comparing the different medics to, uh, in their case, he's an Autobot also, so Minerva. But, you know, for on the con side, it would be Flatline. And then if you just want to look at just uh, con stuff, you know, you got the link for mines in there and you also got the link for Skywarp Greer's uh, in the newsletter as well. So I hadn't had a chance to check his out yet. I plan on checking his out today. But um, usually with this kind of stuff, he covers it really, really well. So uh, if you want to look at it just from the con set, you got a couple of options there. Um, I didn't look to see... Um, if Deception made one from To Punish and Enslave. Um, but if he did, I'll take a peek there in a little bit. If he did, I'll throw that one into the description also. So, yeah, um, we had a couple of survey winners out there for, you know, they were giving out prizes for if you filled out the survey. And, um, you know, so they selected some winners for that. So congratulations to those guys who, who, um, wind up i believe they had gave away some five star shards for that so congrats to them and then you got a community corner as always got some cool action figures there yeah some that's some pretty cool artwork this time around you got one of sky whoop there so uh yeah that's pretty cool and then the saga schedule. Obviously, this is the end of the saga. And it is... Uh, it's been a fun one, honestly, man. I mean, like... Um, you know, it was a little bit of a grind with that 1 million and 800k back to back. But I said... Yeah, I made a lot of progress in this particular saga. So, I'm looking forward to the next one. And I'm also looking forward to see what the apes have to say on their Twitch stream tomorrow. So... Um, yeah, that'll be tomorrow, Thursday, 21 April, and that'll be 17, 1700 BST. So I know I usually tune in for that. Um, so hopefully I'm not busy at that time because that's midday for me, but I always look, look, like to look to see what they have to say. I'll actually talk about that a little bit more on my next video because, uh, I think hearing a lot of times what they're saying and sometimes what they're not saying is really important to player progress. So that'll be one of my topics of discussion for tomorrow. But until then, um, yeah, man, like, uh, keep getting ready for the leaderboard, get, get all your resources stacked up for the last you through the weekend and get ready to get ready to, um, check out my content tomorrow. I think I'm gonna have a really good video for you guys tomorrow. I've already got everything kind of planned out. And um, other than that, I'll see you guys out there on the battlefield. Freeze this out.